Hello, I'm Dr. Jacob Hudis, and in this exciting video, we'll explore the fascinating world of light polarization. You'll discover what polarization is and why it plays a crucial role in both physics and everyday life. Plus, there will be a captivating demonstration using cross-linear polarizers. All of this light is vertically polarized, so when we look at it through a horizontally polarized filter, it's all dark. We're going to pass this piece of film over the dark spot, and we're going to see that that actually rotates Light. light is an electromagnetic wave made of perpendicular electric and magnetic fields that oscillate as the wave travels. Maxwell's equations explain that these fields generate each other, allowing light to move through space without a medium. Light is produced when charged particles, like electrons, accelerate, such as in a cell phone's radio frequency oscillator, or when electrons in atoms jump between energy levels, releasing energy as light. AcePhysics.org. Wow, just Math wow, and physics this is a dream tutoring come true. With Dr. Hudis. What is polarization of light? When the electric field vector of a light wave oscillates in a single plane along a fixed direction, the light is called polarized or plane polarized. The left image shows light that is linearly polarized along the vertical direction, meaning the electric field oscillates up and down. On the next few slides, I have some animations to help visualize light polarization. A linearly polarized light wave is an electromagnetic wave in which the electric field oscillates in a single fixed plane perpendicular to the direction of the wave propagation. This is a light wave propagating. If you were looking at the light coming to your eye, you would see the light oscillating up and down, and that's vertically polarized. There's also horizontally polarized light, and that's when the light would be oscillating in the horizontal direction of the horizontal plane. Another complete basis of light polarization is the diagonal and anti-diagonal polarization. Finally, we have circularly polarized waves. A circularly polarized light wave is an electromagnetic wave in which the electric field rotates in a circular motion as the wave propagates. Instead of oscillating in a fixed plane like linearly polarized light, the electric field vector continuously changes direction, tracing a helical path. Right and left circular polarization can be thought of as specific combinations of linearly polarized light. Any light wave can be expressed in terms of horizontal and vertical polarization, diagonal and anti-diagonal polarization, or right and left circular polarization. The equations on the right provide a mathematical description of these polarization states. The details are beyond the scope of this discussion. If you're interested in a deeper dive into the mathematics of polarization, holograms, and spatial light modulators, Check out my video titled Understanding Liquid Crystal Display Screens. Here's a simulation from the website GeoGebra. There's a vertical polarizing filter, and here's another vertical polarizing filter, but this filter allows you to change the orientation, so you can change it from vertical to horizontal or any angle in between. All the light that passes through is vertically polarized. If I change the angle of this filter, I can filter out light. This orientation, 0% of the vertically polarized light passes through. That's because this filter will absorb all vertically polarized light. It will only let horizontally polarized light through. So these are linear polarizers, and when the light passes through the first one, it comes out all vertically polarized. And this little card symbolizes the orientation of light. So the vertically polarized light exits the first polarizer, the horizontally polarized light is absorbed and vertically polarized light exits the linear polarizer because it's vertically oriented. This filter is horizontally polarized and so when, when vertically polarized light passes through a horizontally oriented filter, it all gets absorbed and it does, none of it is able to pass through. All right, so now we're looking at vertically polarized light that's coming through and when we put this other little piece of plastic in front of it, it doesn't change the intensity of the light. It only changes the orientation of it in a way that we can't even tell is happening. But now we're going to take the second polarizer and we're going to look through it and it turns, it turns that light dark because all of this light is vertically polarized. So when we look at it through a horizontally polarized filter, it's all dark, but now, what we're gonna do is pass this, we're gonna pass this piece of film over the dark spot and we're gonna see that that actually rotates the light so that now we can see it even through the second polarizer. And we're gonna also find that it depends on how this is oriented because if it is oriented horizontally, then no light gets through. And if we turn it at other angles, we see that light gets through until we turn it now vertically. And once again, no light's getting through. 
but at vertical and horizontal, no light gets through. AcePhysics.org, math and physics tutoring with Dr. Hudis.